Hello and welcome to The Island Gamer. Well, it was the number 16 channel. You guys may have known it. I will post a wee video there as well. And um, just to start off with, the reason I have a new YouTube channel is because my other one got hacked. Yay! Um, pretty much because I was doing the Steam giveaway and, and things on that channel, people, tr I, people tried to hack it to get free games. So simple as that. We'll stop doing that and we're continuing with uh, a new series. Now I'll start off with that uh, I'm using the, I believe it's called the LSC Marshall 2014 update pretty much and um, it's probably the best update on Football Manager at the moment and if you all want to give it a go it's, I'll leave a link in the description below, it's on FMB, it's also on Facebook as well and um, I've, been, I've been asking him kind of really what people might want to see from his update so I've went Leicester Basically, because they're in the they're in the Premier League now, and what we'll be, what we will be doing is trying to keep them in the Premier League and developing their team as much as we possibly can before FM15 comes out. I'll look forward to maybe dealing with um, LC Marshall again in the future, and um, so we'll jump straight into it. What I will say is um, the update itself on FM base has around something crazy like five hundred thousand views now for something for for Football Manager. That's incredible. So uh, Big Cat's off and the work that he's done for the game has been incredible. I wouldn't be surprised if it's close to over 100,000 downloads as well. Um, they must be very, very close to that. But we'll have a look to see what we've actually done here. We're at the first game of the season already. These are the, the friendlies that we have, we have played. It's um, been up and down. We've signed players, a lot of players coming in and a lot of players going out. Well, I say a lot of players going out, there's not really been that much going out. But we'll have a wee look at the transfer history. Just players out in loan, really. Uh, Jeffrey Schlup, I don't know how to say his name. And uh, Vardy, are the main ones that have went out on loan. Players that are brought in, Nick Powell from Manchester United on loan. He should be decent. Todd Kane, the new right-back at Leicester City. Very, very impressed with this kid. 19 years of age, 1 point something million, 1.3 million assigned for. Hopefully he's pretty good. Um, Dorsin from Rosenberg. My new left back, 31 years old, international player, pretty good technical ability and mental attributes as well, so hopefully he'll fit in well at left back. Avram Papadopoulos from Olympiakos for 755,000. He is going to be the kind of the main central defender in the team. 28 years old, very, very good player. He's already worth more than what I paid, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that signing. It's pretty much a free transfer. Now, one player I've been looking at on the on this transfer update from the LSE Marshall, it's pretty much this guy here, Strandberg from Rosenberg. Now a lot of people on his forum have been saying that this player is really, really, really good, and uh, he's one of the players that you need to try and sign if you've li if you're I say li living on a budget. <laughs> if, if your team's got no budget, pretty much this player. If you look at him there, Stefan Strandberg, he he's now an international player. He got his first cap for me there. He's really, really good. I mean strength, jumping. Heading, marking, tackling, passing, he's got the lot, concentration, everything. This guy is really, really good. And for 900,000, you can't really go go wrong. So we've got him in the team to partner up with Papadopoulos. At left wing, we didn't have anyone at left wing. So we went for the Dundee United uh, flair player, that is Gary McKay Stephen. He's very, very good. 20 flair, 16 dribbling, technique 20. He's going to be one of the players that I'm hoping is going to be hit or miss. Um, we did pay. One and a half million for him, but hopefully, hopefully we get we get something from him. Lucas Romero, a player that's been recommended to me a lot, as our new central midfielder. He's the more ball-winning type midfielder. He's quite small, but he does pack a punch. He's really strong, a good stamina, natural fitness, and everything else for the player is really, really good for a 19-year-old. So we signed him. These are the two players that we've got at the bottom here: Lucas Romero and Robert Aquafresca. Sounds like a toothpaste from Colgate. This guy, six million is our kind of marquee signing and um, teamwork off the ball, composure, finishing, pace, passing, heading. He's got, he's really the complete striker and that's who we're going to partner up front with Leonardo, who we've renamed because we can't pronounce his second name. <laughs> Moving on to more of the kind of, the history of, of, of Leicester, I've been doing a wee bit of research, I have, and you do have quite a decent trophy cabinet with seven championship titles, one League One, three Capital One, and a Community Shield. So you're only missing the FA Cup and the the FA Cup. So we'll, we'll look to get these under this season. 
not this season, but under this save, that would be pretty pretty fun to achieve. And also, and I'm not even going to attempt. Well, right, I'm going to attempt to pronounce your owner. Is it Iowat Sarvadahana Probara? Now I'm not going to say that again, but he's also known as Top, so we'll call him Top. Pretty much because he's a lot of the fans really like this um, this owner, and he's he's promised never to tamper with the club's heritage. Pretty much because that's what he believes in. So yeah. That's what I know about Leicester. They're a really good side. I've got a really good, um, a really good feeling about this. I'm, I'm really happy with how the team shaped up this season. Quite a few new players, a whole new defence. So I'm kind of guessing the first two or three months is going to be really difficult. We are set to finish 19th this season. No, we're not going to finish 19th. We're going to try and finish a lot higher than that. I'm hoping mid table. But that's how we're going to set up this season. We've got Leonardo and Akrofeska up front, McKay, Stephen, and Knockart. The more wide, um, pushed up players, drink water and Romero in central midfield, Dorsin, Papadopoulos, Strandberg and Kane at the back, and Cash Rush Michael in goals. So we're going to jump straight into the game. I'm going to show you how we're going to get on. Number nine, yes, you can be number nine. Let's get going. So we're playing Sunderland, first game of the season. Again, a team who have done quite a bit of business. They've got Cole Turi at the back, Wes Brown, Jack Rodwell, a lot of good players. A lot of good players, and they got uh, Pantelimon in goals as well. But hopefully, we can come away with the win. We'll continue with it. Cam. I know we're underdogs here, but go out there and give the fans a performance to cheer for. Give the travelling fans a performance to cheer for. Let's see how we get on. Ooh, I'm actually nervous about this one. But Leonardo, early on, gets it to McKay Stephen, who's going to run at the defender. Leonardo, oh, it's a goal, but it's offside in the first five minutes. God damn it. Damn! Looking frustrated, Siemens composed. That that changed pretty quickly. <laughs> and Cash Michael just taking a knock. Now that would have been horrific early on for a goalkeeper to go off injured. We are 24, 25 minutes in and really there's... Oh my god. Our midfield has been outnumbered. There's been nothing. Nothing has happened this game. Half an hour has gone. Both sets of fans are going to be really disappointed here. Edu to Rodwell, back to Brown, Edu, Rodwell, it's intercepted by McKay Stephen, it's Aqua Fresca to drink water. Right, hold on, let's try and keep some sort of possession. Oh well, I just I had to say it. Well, Buckley, that was going wide, Michael, you could have left it. Jacarini on the ball, into the box, Turi, that was very, very close indeed. So far, we're holding on, okay, if we can try and get, I mean, for any kind of game when you're trying to stay in the Premier League, what you need to do, in my opinion, is get the ball to Akrofeska and then to Leonardo, who puts it in the back of the net. I mean, that's, that's what you're meant to do whenever you get promoted with a team who's in the relegation battle all season. <laughs> we have taken the lead just before half-time. A lovely bit of um, football between Akrofeska and Leonardo up front. And uh, Leonardo gets the goal to make it 1-0. Excellent time to get the goal, I might I add. So, Cam. Cam. I know we're underdogs here. No, 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 no. No, reluctant. Cautious. Don't get complacent out there. Let's get focused, guys. Get focused. It always cuts away after this. There we go. Right, Todd Kane. Todd Kane. You're not having the best of games out there, boy. Let's bring on Liam Moore. Okay. Liam Moore. Right, come on. 67 minutes gone. Can we do this? Can we actually do this? Let's bring in Andy King for drink water and Chris Wood for aqua fresca. Let's make use of our substitutions here and try and get something from the game. Hopefully hold on to the 1-0 lead. If we can get another goal, that would be fantastic before the end of the game. Andy King, Fletcher, down to Graham. Graham could pass in. Fletcher... Yes! First game of the season, first three points this season, and it's Leonardo, the £8 million striker that was signed from Brighton, who has put you guys in the lead. That was special, guys. No one gave us the chance. We have came away from... I think it's the Stadium of Light. Is it Stadium of Light? Yes. We've came away with uh, three points early on, with only one shot on target and less possession. We didn't play particularly well, but in saying that, we are playing a team who's really good compared to us. And uh, at the moment, guys, I'm really happy with that. So, yeah, I've been the Island Gamer. 
previously number 16, I will lose that tag eventually. And uh, yeah, if you want to play with this update, all you need to do is go on FM Base. I will leave a link in the description below and also a link to the Facebook page and you can try this update yourself. I'll just give you a wee sneak peek as you can see. Fabregas is at Chelsea here. Also with like I said, Diego Costa and um, Felipe, Felipe Luis as well. A lot of the, all the, more or less every transfer possible that he's able to do has taken place so far and he does frequent updates. So keep checking guys, keep looking. And uh, yeah, I've been. I'm, I'm. My name's Ross, by the way, if you didn't know. And uh, yeah, support my channel. Please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.